Feminazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. Today, we're going to talk about a bill, H.R. 4886, Closing the Prepaid Mobile Device Security Gap Act of 2016. What this bill does is make it so that you have to provide identifying documents when you buy a prepaid phone or a SIM card. It also makes it so that you cannot sell your prepaid phone or SIM card because you're not an authorized reseller. And it puts harsh criminal penalties on anyone who does this. This is purely a reaction to recent terrorist attacks. This isn't going to improve any kind of security. This is a power grab for government. They want you to have to give up your identifying information whenever you buy a prepaid phone. It's a lot of fun to read GovTracks about the bill section, especially the summary, where it says, The cheap disposable devices, also called prepaid phones, are often bought anonymously and without registration. It was burner phones, not encryption, that were primarily used to plot the coordinated terrorist attacks in Paris. Do you really think that making it where you have to present identifying documents like a driver license to purchase a cell phone is going to stop terrorists from using cell phones in their attacks. If you make it illegal to buy prepaid phones without identifying documentation, terrorists will steal prepaid phones. Terrorists will have someone else buy the phone for them. There are a myriad number of ways to get around it. In fact, one of the easiest ways to get around it is to use a series of internet services that let you link back into the telephone system over the internet without having to present identifying information information. Think about it. As long as the prepaid phone has internet access, you can use the prepaid phone to access voice over IP providers, not all of which are in the United States of America or France or wherever. Once you're on a voice over IP service with your prepaid phone, it doesn't matter that the phone was registered to Billy Johnson in San whatever, California, because they won't be able to trace it back. This is the problem with trying to chase down terrorists by passing laws that restrict the freedoms of the American people. You're not going to be able to do it. It. It's a cat and mouse game. This is nothing more than a power grab for American law enforcement. Don't let this pass. Go to GovTrack, call Congress, and tell them to cut this shit out. The people who are behind this don't need to be reelected. You need to do something to stop these curtailments of your freedoms, unless for some reason you want them to continue. You want to live in a police state. I hate to be the one to drop a reference to Hitler, but the United States is rapidly beginning to look like Nazi Germany in the way that it's being run. The only way you're going to keep the United States free is by fighting for your freedom. So get out there and fight the good fight. This applies both on the legal level, where you need to tell Congress not to pass this bullshit, and on the social level, where you need to tell social justice warriors to fuck off. You know that saying about, be the change you want to see in the world? The way that you do it is by opening your mouth and saying no. Because no means no, right? Right, guys? Right? No, no means no, right? This is Feminazi, literally Hitler, signing off.